So hey there guys, Redtail Ray. Thanks for coming back and joining me on my fun little YouTube adventure. So some of my most popular videos have been boot reviews, shoe unboxings, lots of Solomons. Uh, Solomons are my favorite. Still very much rocking the Solomon Quest 4D GTX Forces 2. These things have been awesome. Uh, I believe it's about two years now of pretty much daily use all spring summer mud camping trips uh, daily absolutely daily footwear in the winter time here a little warm for the summertime but absolutely love those boots that's not today's video today's video is my first set of work boots in a long time so these are the uh, 804 43 78 these are the eight inch mock mock is a style mock um, safety toe so Steel safety toe, the mock, just means instead of being rounded here, they've got this extra stitched lip up top. Um, I'm not a boot guru. There are some really, really good YouTube channels out there. Um, and I can't remember them off the top of my head because I haven't watched them in a couple weeks since I got these. But I got these boots for my new job as a commercial well driller, wellman. Um, and I wanted something that was going to be comfortable. Uh, a local fleet farm here. Up in Monticello, Minnesota, had these for just about $268, I think. So everything has gone up since some of the older videos a couple years ago that I was watching. But I haven't, I wasn't able to find any really crazy deals out there on the internet before I actually started wearing these to see if I could get a better deal. They all seem to be about exactly that price, no matter where you get them from. Um, so again, these are the 8 inch uh, <clears throat> Mock Toe Thoroughgoods. Made in the USA. <clears throat> Actually, Thorough Goods got a really cool um, YouTube video on their own page on how these things are made. It's actually like a mini documentary, and it's really cool to support those guys over in Wisconsin. Um, Union made, USA made, um, mostly, I think, from what I remember. Most all of it's, uh, they try to source it all from the U.S. and U.S. companies. Um, yeah, what my job mainly entails now, at least uh, for right now, is kind of a... Uh, overall do-it-yourself kind of guys residential and commercial geothermal as well as um, environmental well drilling as well as a lot of sandblasting and painting I've ended up being able to keep all the paint off not all my off my my insulated Dickies bibs or anything like that but for my for the most part my boots um, I did end up coating these these are not the waterproof version um, size nine and a half you can see all the stuff on the side of the box here zoom in just a little bit don't know exactly what all that stuff means uh, besides the steel toe electrical rated slip resistant um, these are the trail crate um, color instead of the tobacco or there's a couple other colors but mostly these come in this trail haze uh, crazy horse um, obviously these things are you know if you're looking at this video you've seen other videos on boots and, and thorough goods in particular I did have a set of Red Wings a long time ago, but from talking to a couple of guys in my volunteer fire department, uh, Red Wings quality has really gone down the last few years. Um, so a lot of the guys that do other construction, um, you know, framing, carpeting, um, some of the other guys do uh, decks and um, culverts and pipeline, um, like actual outside construction, kind of like the stuff I do, but just vertical instead of horizontal. Uh, digging and those kind of things. Uh, they uh, recommended to stay away from Red Wing, even though there is a Red Wing pretty close to me. Um, looked up their stuff, and they're all really, really expensive. Granted, these were not cheap, but I figured um, I'd give them a shot. This is what I needed. I needed a steel toe. wanted 8-inch. I didn't want the flat bottoms. I did want the heel, um, little heel there, because I do other things as well. You know, living on the homestead, lots of up and down on ladders. Um... And stuff like that so I got that version as opposed to just the flat bottom uh, regular construction boot like you'd see um, so so far initial impressions have them about a little over a month now wearing them every day for work um, love them love the way they look love the way they um, smell my feet you know can breathe now, these are again not the waterproof versions but I did get this stuff from Atsco they had it at Fleet Farm too it's an extreme water repellent um, soak them, follow the directions, let them soak for 24 hours, apply a second and a third coat, really saturated. Just seem to do really well keeping the snow and the water, sometimes standing in some real big puddles 
lots of water obviously in well drilling and stuff but real big puddles um, also doing a lot of industrial size sandblasting so oh standing right now it's uh, the weekend obviously not at work and I thought I had some pictures on my phone but you know sandblasting for hours at a time with this big pig of a sandblaster and these things are just getting absolutely worn in um, do dusted coated abrased whatever you might want to call it um, definitely some scratches not sure if that's all gonna show up my angle I can't really see all that well uh, but believe it or not the biggest uh, <clears throat> chunker taker if you will of, of these guys is pallets you know I walk in or step in or accidentally kick around a pallet and these things get a little you know, scuffed up but they're holding up good you can tell the, the color difference uh, between where my pants cover this is what kind of color they used to be and now they're definitely getting really really a lot darker a lot more black there's actually a lot of, a lot of that sandblasting material all over it um, the one thing I did want to say uh, especially you know didn't want to do the unboxing video and that's going to be the uh, clickbait picture for the thumbnail that you're going to look at but these are you know used um, lots of people and I've done it my, myself I'm doing unboxing review but I really wanted to give these a shout before I gave my opinion on them I found um, a lot of the other YouTube videos say that there's no break-in period they're really really comfortable I did not find that to be true uh, maybe that's just because I'm spoiled rotten with my Solomons that are extremely comfortable um, my feet needed a break-in period and these boots needed a break-in period and what I ended up I tried a second set of these insoles now it's supposed to be a pain max or a pain something or other um, insole I tried those I tried the original thorough goods that came in these are actually shaped a lot better um, they actually have some excuse all the dog hair they're actually you know formed to the boot a lot better and have a little bit more arch support right here so I put those back in but then I also added uh, some uh, gel heel inserts just to take some of that impact off walking around con concrete and stuff all day um, and those seem to have really helped I did try a small little couple chunks of foam in the back that helped with these gel ones are a lot better so after about four weeks they actually have broken in quite well um, they are really comfortable all around it's kind of like wearing a nice slipper and again I haven't had like a leather leather set of work boots in a long time but very happy with them so that's kind of my initial impressions is that well made very comfortable after the break-in period gonna last me a long time thorough goods got a uh, registry and uh, re restoration program not sure how you're gonna be able to see that but um, can get them resold can get them Goodyear treads and some other, you know, you can get all different kinds of treads thrown on from the other boot restorers, and they have YouTube channels out there too. And you know, we see besides like uh, Nyx boots guys, actually the guys from Nyx uh, redo these and resold these a lot, you know, recondition them. So those are always fun to watch. It's kind of like one of them uh, cool, cool things out there. These boot guys just reconditioning, remaking boots. So there you go. There's my two cents. I'm already talking way too long on this video on uh, just a set of boots and trying out also um, the new camera seeing how this works I had to get a new phone wife and I both got new phones last weekend so see how this works see how this uploads and uh, yeah that's it see you guys in the next video